classification of data in statistics. First, I would like to uh, define what is statistics and uh, how it comes in existence. The word statistics of English language has either been derived from the Latin or word status or Italian word statistic or German word statistic. In each case, it means an organized political state. In this sense, the word is found used in 17th century in the famous drama Hamlet 1602 of Shakespeare and uh, Milton used this word in the famous epic Paradise Regained. In the early propounders of the discipline, the name of God Fried Akemwal, who was professor of law and political science at Gottington, Germany, is worth uh, mentioning in 1749 recognized statistics as a special specialized branch of human knowledge. This is why God Fried Akemwal is called father of statistics. Now, let us see the broadly speaking the word statist means statistical data so let us first look the classification of statistical data in quantitative aspect so uh, i explain you this data we have classified in quantitative aspect one is raw data second is uh, ungrouped data or discrete data what we say and third one is grouped data so in this we have classified the data raw discrete and grouped data in the raw data the frequency of uh, item is always assume 1 as I explain you a data we surveyed a colony and we are see there are 25 families and we surveyed how many children are there in each family so we get the data like this we get 0 other family 2 then 1 then 5 then 2 then 2 then 3, then 1, then 0, 3, 2, 6, and then 2. Then we see 0, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 0, 1. and then 0, 1, 2, 3, 1. So, this data we, get, we got there, so this is called the raw data. Now, we can arrange this data in discrete form or which is the ungrouped data. So, we can write in this way this data. First, I draw a line here. Why you are getting the right thing? So, let us see, uh, I write here, zero, number of children, one, two, three, four, five, this is the number of children I am writing here, number, children. Now, here we write tally marking for this, then it is frequency number of families, so let us take a look of this. You see here 0, we put here 1, then 2, we put here 1, uh, then 1, then 5, 
then 2, again 2, then 3, then 1, then uh, sorry, then 1, then 0, 2, 0, 2, the fifth we have to cross, 1, then 1, then 2, then 1, then 3, 1, 4, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1. So, we get here, uh, if we count this, so we get in this way, we have here 5, here 5 plus 3, 8, 5 plus 2, 7, there is 3, there is 1, there is 1. If you calculate this, we see 5, 8, 13, 20, 23, 24, 25. There are 25 families are here or uh, we have classified in a discrete form ungrouped data. There are 0 number of children in 5 families, uh, 1 children in 8 families, 2 children in 7 families, 3 children in 3 families, 4 children in 1 family and 5 children in 1 family. So, in this way, we could get the discrete series through raw data. Now, I would like to explain you how we get the grouped data. Uh, we see uh, for uh, group data, let us take an example, the illustration marks obtained by 50 students are given below. Here in example, you see 31, 13, 46, 31 and these the marks obtained by the students in an examination. The, we see here the minimum marks is 2 obtained by a student and the maximum marks by obtained by the student is 63. So, we can take the interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20, the 7 intervals would be there. So, we take the intervals like in this way, we choose the interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60 and 60 to 70. So, now we will make the tally swap these all. So, we see 31, 31 will come here in this class into 30 to 40. So, we have to put here 1. one. Then 13 will come here. 46 here. 40 to 50 between. 31 will again come here. And this 30. It will there are two thirties are here in the upper limit these the these are the upper limits and these are the lower limits so we always have to use these in lower limits so either here the 30 is the whole lower limit here so we have to put 30 for this here then 45 then 38 then 42 then 30. So, the fifth uh, uh, frequency we have to cross here, the fifth we have to cross here, so it would be a bunch of 5 we get here, then 9 would come here, 30, 30, 46 we have, we have to put here, then 36 again here, then 2 here and uh, 41 we have to cross here 41 44 here 18 would be here now and 29 63 44 then 30 19 5 then 44, then 15, 7, 25, 12, it would be cross here 12, 30, cross here 30, 
6 cross here 6 22 would be here 24 would be here then 37 would come here 15 would come here 6 would come here 39 it would be here 32 it would be here again and 21 we have to put here 21 then 20 here 42 31 then 19 then 14 then 23 28 17 53 22 and 21 Now, let us calculate this, how many tally marks over there, we see here, it is 6 now, it is 9, this one is 10, this one is 14, then one is 9, 1, 1, if we calculate this all, we get 50 here, so this is our tally mark, in this way, we could arrange the data in group form, so, it was the major classification of data so why we use the group form because if you have the numbers in the decimals if you have to measure the heights of the students in a classroom so there would be very little difference or the measure the weight of the students in a classroom it may be 200 gram uh, uh, difference over between two students weight and maybe less than 50 gram 25 gram so it is very impossible to write this much data in discrete form so we have to write so many data in discrete form it is so it is very practical for us to calculate this so we use the group data form so by which we could get the decimal forms in between it is the continuous group data if you have a group data like this 0 to 9 1 to 19 then 20 to 29 then 30 to 39 in this way if you have a get data so it is called a non-continuous data there is a continue continuity is backing between 9 and 10 if you have 9.1 so there is no place for 9.1 in this data so what we have to make we have to convert this data in continuous form so this is very easy so we have to subtract the low upper limit of preceding class interval from the lower lim limit of succeeding class interval so 10 minus 9 it is the lower limit of succeeding class interval this is the upper limit of preceding class interval so 10 minus 9 this is equal to 1 whatever we get the difference we have to always divide by 2 so we divide it by 2 1 divided by 2 here yeah, 1 over 2 is equal to 0 0.5 not wow well, now what we have to do we have to subtract 0.5 from the lower limit of data and add this to the upper limit of data so we get here because it is here is 0 so we, we don't subtract here 0.5 because we get negative here so 0 to 9.5 then if we subtract 0.5 from 10 so we get 9.5 if we add here 0.5 so we get 19.5 here also we subtract 0.5 from 20 so we get 19.5 here we get 29.5 we if we add 0.5 here so here we subtract 0.5 again so we get 29.5 here we get 39.5 so in this way we get this sort of continuous data now now you 9.1 you can put in put in this interval and 9.6 you can put in this interval so uh, this is the way how to make the non-continuous data into continuous form. So this was all about the data in quantitative aspect. So in the next session we will study what the measure of central tendency.